Good evening, people. Watch Woman 65. Lisa Boyce here. Uh, there's a lot of earthquake news tonight. I'm going to give you the gospel. This in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, that Christ died for our sins, past, present, future, was buried and rose again on the third day. We're saved by grace, through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works. Least any man should boast his grace that God gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believe in him will not perish. The key word is believe. In him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Once you're saved, you will never lose your salvation. Never. You will not lose your salvation. People are uh, commenting and saying that, well, your name can be written out of the book of life. No, it can't. We're in the dispensation of grace. This is why you need to learn dispensations and rightly divide the word of God. The only way your name, we're not, this is for the tribulation saints and for the Jews. We're not going to be here for that period. The church Age is where we are now. We're in the age of grace, dispensation of grace, which means the only requirement for salvation is believing in what the Lord did. Now, people are asking me about the rapture and the second coming. Once again, like I said this morning, those are two separate events. The rapture happens first, and then the tribulation period starts the moment the church is gone, and it lasts for approximately seven years. So, um, those are two separate events. And that kind of coincides with the story that I'm going to give you now. This is off of End Times Headlines. And strong 6.3 earthquake strikes Croatia, causing major damage to homes and buildings. <clears throat> A strong earthquake hit uh, central Croatia today, which was probably to them yesterday, causing major damage to homes and other buildings in towns southeast of the capital. Folks, these quakes are getting stronger. A girl was killed in the quake and a man and a boy were pulled out alive from a car buried in rubble and sent to the hospital. The eastern... Mediterranean Seismog uh, Seismological Center said a magnitude 6.3 earthquake hit 46, 28 miles, 46 kilometers, which is 28 miles south east of Zagreb. Other Croatian media also reported the death. Uh, there was a death here too. A broadcaster, a state broadcaster, HRT, said a girl died in the earthquake um, also. I'm going to link this article in the description box. I wanted to come on and give you two more stories. Um, I don't know if you recall, but I had said in a video the other day that they're bringing out a the more mutant highly contagious mutant COVID now. Someone has been reported in Colorado. The first highly contagious mutant uh, COVID strain has been confirmed in the United States. As this, experts are now fearing a rapid spread. I told you it was coming. And I told you why it's coming. I told you why. Colorado governor, oh, and by the way, Colorado experienced some kind of intentional electrical break, leaving homes over the weekend without water or heat. I found that too. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, back to this, and this happened to be in Colorado, Colorado governor Jared Polis and State public health officials made the announcement on Tuesday afternoon. Um, 
Polis wrote to Twitter, Today we discovered Colorado's first case of the COVID-19 variant, the same variant discovered in the UK. The health and safety of Coloradoans is our top priority, and we will monitor this case as well as all COVID-19 indicators very closely. I told you what this is about. It's fear. That's all it's about. Um... There is so much news going on right now. I, it's hard for me to even keep track of everything. Um, says here, uh, and I wanted to give you this also. I had talked about the earthquakes um, in Israel. So this rabbi says massive earthquakes in Turkey and Chile is the earth dancing to bring the Messiah. Now, don't forget, this is another thing you have to understand. When the Jews are talking about their Messiah, they're talking about the Antichrist. Okay? They're not talking about Jesus. We looking, we're looking for Jesus. They're looking for the Antichrist. It says, Two significant earthquakes shook desperate sections of the globe on Sunday, making some wonder if the end of day shakeup is a warming up. And it is. This is why I said earlier. And I don't know why. And the Lord, I wasn't even thinking about the rapture and the second coming. I mean, I'm always thinking about the rapture, but I wasn't even thinking about the second coming. The Lord had me say that this morning. And sure enough. Now, I had said this morning when I talked about the other earthquake that Israel was in. I do believe personally that that earthquake that they're looking for is going to happen during the seven-year tribulation. This is what makes me believe that we're going to be raptured very soon. But this is another one. It says here, two significant earthquakes shook desperate sections of the globe on Sunday, making some wonder if the end of day shakeup is warming up. At 9.37, it's been warming up, so that's false. I mean... It's beyond warm right now. But anyway, at 9.37 on Sunday morning, the, in the province, eastern Turkey was rocked by a 5.3 magnitude earthquake. Turkey's interior minister, I'm not going to pronounce his name, tweeted there were no immediate reports of casualties or damage. In January, a 6.8 magnitude earthquake hit Elazig, killing 41 people in that province and neighboring um, I think it's Maladia. In October, a deadly quake hit the western poor city of Izmar, killing 116 people. Turkey sits on top of two major fault lines, and earthquakes are frequent. Two strong earthquakes uh, struck northeast Turkey in 1999, killing around 18,000 people. In January, two weeks after Turkey's foreign minister issued a statement condemning Jews living in Judea and Samaria, a 6.8, right after he made that statement, a 6.8 magnitude earthquake hit eastern Turkey, killing at least 36 people and injuring more than 1,600. Don't tell me God is warming up. God is hot. And he's not happy. In February, a deadly series of earthquakes hit the Turkey-Iran border. I remember that because I was watching that at the time. Killing at least eight people and injuring 37. They have a lot of quakes. But they're not little. They're big. When they happen, they, they're, they're big. I'm going to link this article also in the description box, folks. Nothing surprises me in the news anymore. It's just letting me know that we're on our way out of here. Period. We're on our way home. We look up, and we are rapture ready. And in order for you to be rapture ready, you have to be born again. How do you be born again? You accept Jesus Christ as Savior. Once you accept him, you accept him, same as believing in him. It's that simple. There is no excuse for someone to be without Christ now. 
There is no excuse at all. It's just your choice. I'm going to link these articles in the description box. If something else comes up, I will be back. Thank you.